Hi quilters, I'm Shelly Rotson at the Quilted Forest and while we were away at camp, the boxes piled up. I can't wait to see what's inside these boxes, so let's rip them open. First box out of the gate is from Benertex. Oh, some whisper weave. Now these are nice, these are nice basics to have and they're just a little tiny crosshatch in some really good colors. So this one obviously is an orange. It's kind of like a really nice soft one. Great for pumpkins, that kind of thing. This one I believe is black. Sometimes it's hard to tell with the plastic on. Yep, that one's definitely black. Just love that. It's just a little bit of texture. So when you need almost a solid, but you don't want it to be plain, you get a fabric like this and then you have just enough texture in it that's a nice green here we have a pretty pretty yellow and i noticed on my fabric wall everything was getting a little slim i had some holes so i did order quite a lot of basics recently this is a really nice red and i was really missing out on some good let these fall in here purples so this is the purple I got this is a gorgeous purple box number two Ooh, have a bunch of new stuff from Hoffman what do we have Oh, these are some really good basics. These are called, let's see, I think these are called bubbles. So that's just a very pretty light blue. And there's a gray. I ordered like almost the whole line of these. This is kind of a soft um, white kind of beigey color. Just a nice background. Here's a darker gray. Work for a lot of things. This is a little darker blue, so it's a little darker than the first one. You can see the difference. This one is a navy blue. I'm gonna take the plastic off this one because then you can see that it's not black, it's navy. This one is a little blue, a little green, nice kind of dark teal color. This one is black. It's got a, just a hint of gray in there. Very pretty. Again, these are textures, so when you need a solid but you don't want a plain, these are nice to work in the quilt. Gives the quilt a lot of movement makes it so it doesn't look quite as plain. Look at that. That is a gorgeous orange. Kind of a rusty color. And here we have like a cream. Get another box of these. So this will be box number three. Two boxes from Hoffman. All right. Oh, look at this nice bright orange. That is gorgeous. This box has brighter colors in it. Here is another, this is kind of a, just a gold. It's kind of in between yellow and orange. There is the yellow, nice sunshiny yellow. Oh, that's so pretty. And, oh, look at this, this is kind of a magenta. Hot pinky color. That is beautiful. There's a nice Kelly green. Here's another blue. It's lighter blue. It's different than the other one that we had at the beginning. A little bit brighter. Love it. And this is an aqua color or a light teal. Oh, love this green. Look at that. That is like a shamrock green. Look at that color. And I like that there's just a little bit of shading, so you get some darker in there, a little bit lighter. Perfect red. 
just a good old fashioned red. You always need those. And a pink. And last one from Hoffman is another purple. This one's more like a kind of a lavender. Very pretty. These will look great on the fabric wall. Let's see what's in this little motor box, which usually means pre-cuts, of course. Ooh, these. So this line is called The Great Outdoors. I've been waiting for this one. Super cute. Moose Lodge. Lots of great outdoorsy colors. Oh, the browns and the greens. Oh, man. I know I have yardage of this coming too. Can't wait to get that in stock. All right, so for that great outdoors, I have charm packs and layer cakes. So we have charm packs and layer cakes for that. All right, next up. Oh, they're finally here. Okay, this is called Shoreline. And she did a line last year called Nantucket. We made these little mini charm bags that were so cute. And the coloring on these charms is almost exactly the same. It's just adorable. So we can make a new mini charm bag. Super, super cute. The next Moda box has, oh, that is fun. Oh, beautiful. Look at that stripe. That would be so cool as a binding or a sashing and a quilt. This is gradient, gradient Aras. Oh, look at the color swirl in this. Oh, these would be so fun to work into any project. So that one's got kind of the brighter colors, a little bit kind of a muted red oh my look at this one blues a little bit of purple a little bit of yellow and green a little bit of everything and then this fabric it's kind of got a design made out of dots i thought this was super cool and it kind of shaded with the dots just really pretty. I can see working that into a lot of things. And you have the same fabric. So that's got a dark black background. Lots of different colors. They're a little bit more muted colors. And then we have the like creamy white background. And the, the dots on this one are a little bit more colorful. They seem brighter. Oh, those are kind of fun. So we start plotting what we're going to do with those. Okay, I didn't notice this the first time around, but look at this. It goes from dark to medium, medium to light, and that's all across the selvage. So from selvage to selvage, get all these different colors. Okay, I thought it was cool before, but now it's even cooler. Now we have to open up these others and see what they change into. Uh, they go across the fabric. Oh, this is the fun part. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> so cool. Boy, that's pretty. So that's the whole range. All right, I wonder how the range on this last one is going to be. Because it's multicolor, so does it go dark to light, or does it stay all the way across? Now, sometimes when I'm ordering these fabrics, by the time they come in, I've kind of forgotten what they're supposed to look like. Now, this one, 
It's just color all the way across. But still very cool. Be really fun to follow the lines on here and have that for your quilting. I've lost count of what blocks we're opening, but oh, I can tell this one's gonna be fun. All right. First off, we're gonna show you this one. This is vintage. This is by Sweetwater. I have some bolts coming of this line too. I got layer cakes and charms. I have a specific plan for these. And then of course I got some mini charms too. But I'm gonna open up one of these layer cakes here. So you can kind of see what the fabric looks like all the way through. I just thought this was really pretty. But it's kind of, um, it kind of has a patriotic look to it, but also kind of includes these other colors. I just thought that was kind of neat. A little gold, a little aqua, totally their color range. There's so much you could do with that. Got an idea of what I'm going to put together for that. And then in here is Chickadee Landing. And I know I also have bolts coming of this. And this is Kansas Troubles. And all her deep, dark colors. Oh, look at that purpley red. And orange. And her backgrounds are always so terrific. Look at these little tiny itsy bitsy prints. So cute. She's got great florals. Look at that. Just nice tone on tones. That was a black. This is, I think, navy. Let's see that one. See, there's the print. You can see it a little bit better. Just great colors. Another fabulous line. Big boxes from Moda have. Oh, here's more of the vintage and more of the Aras. Okay, let's see. Oh, look at that. That would make a cool bag. I'm gonna break this one open and see what it looks like. It just has all those colors from that Aras line. Oh, fantastic with a stripe. That is really fun. I love these funky kinds of fabrics. This give you a lot to look at. And this one is also from Gradient Aras. And I like the floral on this one. It's very simple, but the colors are so fantastic. Those two together, super cool. Now we're moving into the vintage line. There's a good red. And it's just a little X, just a nice little X, simple pattern. And here is that same pattern, tone on tone. It's a cream with like a little white X. And I've got a couple bolts of that one because it's a great background. And then I have something planned because I got three bolts of this one. This will be the border of my project. Sure hope I wrote down what I wanted to make. Got three bolts of that one. And then this one is little tiny words. So abode, household, land, stomping ground, marketplace, station, locality, site. Lots of little cute words. This motorbike. Oh, this is the chickadee landing bolts. 
So now we get to see the big scale, on a big scale, what the prints look like. Oh, what a beautiful little orange. There's that little floral. That's in that burgundy. Oh, the navy. I think that one's my favorite. So pretty. Here it is again in purple. So you can see it's same fabric, just different colors. Every line needs those prints. This is just a soft little vine. And I think that's on black. It's kind of hard to say. It's either a really dark navy or a black. And then this one, just a little tiny flower. I think this one is black. We're gonna find out here in just a second. Yeah, this one's black, so that one's a dark, dark navy. You can see the difference once you get the plastic off of them. It certainly is hard to tell sometimes when they're all covered up. And then, oh, look at the little, it's got multicolors on there. A little bit of red, a little bit of blue, a little bit of black. Just adds a nice texture to the green. Here's that same print with a cream background. One of those nice little nothing prints, love those. And then a really scrolly, fun looking green. These are beautiful greens, a deep, nice color. This box is from QT Fabric. Let's see what they've sent. Oh, it's an empty bowl. How oh, exciting. Ooh, fat quarter bundles. Oh, these are those little, I think they're all like little fruits and vegetables. Let's see how cute these are. I'm gonna open one of these up. Oh, these are darling. So, little strawberries, a couple different backgrounds, raspberries, and then there's blueberries, blackberries and blueberries, and then down here we've got cherries, and then there's a little flower. Super cute little tiny prints. Those are adorable. I bought those so we can separate them out into fat quarters. And then have this nice seashell bolt. Nice, just in time for getting things made for summer. And oh, now we've got some patriotic coming at you. These are pretty. The eagle and the flag. It's kind of neat how that has a triangle edge on each side. So we've got that in navy. And then this cream background has looks like the founding some of the founding fathers and presidents over the years. Lady Liberty. You go again, Mount Rushmore. Very cool. And then this must be a panel. American Spirit is called, and it has a large eagle on it. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's got the red around it, red and white stripes around it, the blue field at the bottom. Oh, that's really pretty. We'll get those cut apart. And a oh, little fun fabric. So these are like little fashion girls, black and white print. Put the flapper on there. Oh, that's fun. Look at the little tiny sewing machine bag. Oh, that's super cute. And then to go with that, we have a panel with bigger 
pictures of all the characters on that smaller print. So we've got, these are fun, uh, all these different characters. I like this one, she's called the diva, the socialite, the artist, the sewist. And then on the other side, same thing. So you get two each time you go through across the across the bolt. Very cool. This box has, oh, this box has a couple bolts of basics in it. Now you can never have enough bolts of white or green in the store because every foil needs a background. So here's a couple new ones. Let me get the plastic off. This one has like little dragonflies on it. So you can see the, see the design there on that one. Little dragonflies. And then this one is just little symbols. There's a circle and a plus sign and it's just kind of like a dot something simple sometimes you need a simple background to make the rest of your quilt sing oh goody our backgrounds for two of pink are back in stock so this is the fairy dust we have it in the white color and the creamy color so it's just a little bit darker and I think I got two bolts of that two bolts of that one and then I got it in the lime green which is super fun and also I bought the purple Got a little bolt sized. Oh, excellent. So we got the charms and mini charms of on the bright side. And now we have the bolts that go with it. I got two of this excellent plaid because think binding, think backing. It'll work for so many things. And then I got a bolt of the pretty yellow floral to go with it. Here's another box from Jeff Tex. So this has some backgrounds in it also. This one is just a little dot. And they're like different sized dots. There's a tiny dot, a medium sized dot, just a tone on tone. And then I have a red. I was so low on red and gray. Glad I got some new ones in. And then I ordered purple, this beautiful navy. Oh, these are some good textures. And brown. And black. And another bolt of white. And this one has like the starburst on it. And then some little tiny starbursts. Another good background. We're on our last box. This one is from AGF. And did I order here? These are some 10 inch fabric wonders. Let's see what they look like. Oh, 
Oh, that's pretty. Oh, beautiful. Oh, these fabrics are so soft, so nice to work with. Love their fabrics. Lots of good patterns in this one too. Big scale, small scale, medium scale. Look at this one. That's gorgeous. All right, so I got a bunch of those. And then I have that big floral to go with those. Nice, beautiful, big, bold floral. And then that little floral that I showed you. I also ordered a bolt of that. So I have that one on a bolt. And then I ordered a solid blue. Could be used for sashing or anything like that. And then I ordered these new fabric. It's a new idea from AGF. And what it is, is they have on here, there's a little scissor, this line. And what you're supposed to do is cut on that line so that you can use across the width here for binding. So you can either get a binding that looks like this or a binding that looks like that. It's all how you sew it on the quilt. It's kind of a clever idea. I thought we'd give them a try and see what people think. This is another one. And you can tell by the little scissors that it's meant to be cut on the line. They're two and a half inches wide. Although you could decide to make them um, two and a quarter if you like that size instead. But this one gives you a few options for what you will see on the outer edge of your quilt. So you might see the little floral. You might see this little dot. You might see this little band here with the little blue floral. So you can kind of see different things on the very edge of your quilt on the binding. And the last bolt is another one. Again, you can see the little scissor lines. So you can either, either have a binding that looks like this or a binding that looks like that. It's all how you cut it and how you put it on the quilt and turn it over on the edge. So I've got my work cut out for me. I can't wait to put these on the shelf for you to see. Thanks for watching and happy quilting. Oh, did you see these are ombres?